Chewy here in the lab. I've just taken receivership of a big box of fun this morning. Contained within was heavyweight robot kit. Kind of. This is the uh, heavyweight robot fought in 2013, the last Robo Games. Uh, it's called Super Fluffy pink bunny from the candle. I'm gonna have to look that up. Fluffy pink bunny from the land of Disney and Rainbows. <laughs> Super fluffy pink bunny from the land of candy and rainbows. So this thing is pretty solidly steel. Um, ran out of batteries to see how heavily solid steel it is. But I uh, love these uh, rubber dock bumpers. Anyways, I recall when this fought, um, I mean, it's really designed for, for taking on a, a horizontal spinner or uh, something like that. As I recall, it got like very bad matchups, but uh, I have to look for these videos. And then along with it came a pile of batteries, uh, some wheels, foam filled I believe, some uh, NPC motors with the uh, highly elusive 14 to 1 gear set, um, charger, uh, controller, oh, there's the top. This is awesome. So, uh, being a connoisseur of uh, collector's robots, apparently, um, you notice funny little details. Like, uh, everybody certainly has their own building style. Um, you know, and a uh, robot like this, there are a lot of nice little touches that you don't often see. Like, who, who paints the inside of the robot? With with black crinkle paint even. Maybe it's like a, a bed liner or something, but uh, it's pretty nice. Um, let's see, what are the other kind of clever details? Oh, it looks like every uh, fastener on the whole robot is the, um, whatever it is, 3 8 spine thread, no, 5 16 spine thread, whatever fits the NPC motor. It looks like everything uses that uh, same fastener, the, the bumpers, the lid, Actually, that's really all there is because it's kind of just a solid box. Um, let's see, uh, of course, there's the bunny in the box in the uh, armored polycarbonate. So I looked at this thing and I see that it's like pretty solidly welded. I couldn't quite figure out how you get the rabbit in and out of there. So I poked at it for a while and, and uh, realize you can kind of uh, shove the ears in the holes and this plate slips out and he comes out through the, through the front but so anyway I was looking at this thing and I noticed that down in the bottom there there's actually a little cutout access port that I guess was intended for bunny extraction before and it's been welded shut. I think you can't even tell from the bottom side. That's that's just awesome. And then of course there's the bunny himself, which <laughs> he is pissed. He's coming for revenge on the aliens. Oh, that's right, because this robot has a backstory that comes with it. Not only is it painted with pink glitter paint, there is a comic. And that's why this robot is awesome. We need more of this. So, solid robot, good story. Hit with the kids. Uh, also other little details, like these uh, 3D printed battery terminal covers. Passage for the wire there. Or this uh, receiver tray, 3D printed. 
well labeled, wire management, uh, laser cut top I'm sure, velcroed, you know, strain relieved, Yep, super fluffy pink bunny from Land of Candy and Rainbows.